investigation into a possible hate crime. An Asian butcher shop says it was targeted by someone who left a mutilated cat inside a box in front of the shop. No one needs to see it. It's disgusting. And I know that even my staff was very, very, very upset by it. Shop's owner says they have previously dealt with harassment and even been blamed for the coronavirus because they're Chinese. KCRE 3's Walter McCalla has some video showing the man who left that dead cat behind and police need your help identifying him. Surveillance cameras capture it all right outside the front door of her business. A man pulling a dead cat out of the back of his truck and leaving the bloody animal there for all of her customers to see. This cat was very mangled and very bloody. And normally I know like people wouldn't know stuff like this, but we handle raw animals for a living here. That cat has been dead for quite a while. Mad Butcher Meat Company owner Kelly Shum has had it. For the past year, she's been harassed and even blamed for the spread of the coronavirus because she's Chinese. But this incident on Monday, she says, was the last straw. I've just had to suck up all of this BS and all this racist crap and it's been like this for a year. The silver haired man is seen here inside the store wearing a stand for the flag t-shirt and jeans where he makes a purchase. He leaves the shop, walks to his truck and opens up the passenger side door. He puts the items he just bought on the front seat and then walks to the rear of the truck and unlatches the tailgate. That's when he pulls the cat out of the box to put it in, in our parking lot. He decided to drop it in our most visible part of our parking lot, which is right in the very, very front, where it's just the main entrance where people come in. And actually, the way we had found out is because a customer had told us that, there, that it was there. Shum says she believes he wanted to make it look like they did this to the cat because the box he put it in appeared to be one of theirs. She says things have gotten so bad, she's had to hire a security guard. The Sacramento Police Department issued a statement that reads in part, a report has been generated and forwarded to detectives for follow-up. Based on information gathered, this incident will be investigated as a biased hate-related crime. So Kelly believes that the reason why he left the parking lot and headed this direction using an exit way back there is because if he had turned right towards the main road, there's a dispensary right across the street with high definition cameras that could have very easily identified him. In Sacramento, Walter McCalla, KCRA 3 News. And if you recognize that man who drove away in that large dark colored truck, you're urged to call the Sacramento Police Department. Since the pandemic began, there's been a concern.